Hey everyone, I am Lautaro, an industrial designer from Argentina, and welcome to this process tutorial on how to 3D model a set of buses in Shaper 3D. We are going to design this base, and these are the high level steps to create it. Before I start 3D modeling, I like to take notes on paper on the dimensions I want to try and how I will approach the 3D model. Sometimes it's good to plan a strategy to carry out a cleaner and faster process before starting. After a few minutes of sketching, I define the wide, height, some radius, and the diameter of the base. The modeling strategy will be simple. I will start by creating separate bodies to then join them with an onion. Ok, perfect! Now we are ready to start with the 3D modeling on the Shepard 3D app. I will start going to the top view and making a circle of 80mm diameter. Now I have to touch the circle to extrude it out about 40 mm. Touching the edge of the body, you can apply a chamfer or a filet. In this case, I'm applying a filet of 20 mm to obtain a completely rounded profile. Now, I copy this body four times, but you can copy it as many times as you want and explore other shape options. I'm now selecting all these bodies to do an union to get a single solid body. Here, I'm selecting the edges where the bodies intersect to apply a 10mm radius. Alright, great! This is starting to look better. Now, let's go to the top view. I have to do an offset edge to create a 50mm diameter circle to make them out of the bus. I move the sketch up 15 mm, hide the main body, and extrude the sketch about 25 mm to intersect the main body. Show the body again, and I select both bodies to make an union between them. Ok, now I select this edge to apply a 8mm radius. Now I'm looking to make a stable base. For that, I will perform the same steps as for the mouth. I do the offset, move the sketch, extrude it, Select both bodies and make an union between them. Now we just need to apply a radius of 5 mm and here another of 1 mm and the base is ready. Ok, here is where things get more interesting. I will show you how to iterate with this design to create different formal alternatives from the same body. For this, I will copy this solid a few times. You can select any face of the body to modify them one by one. For example, we can select this face and make a 9mm offset. You can perform this step with any face of the body to achieve different results. What I'm doing now is simply playing with the form, looking for different shape alternatives to then design on one. I 
I invite you to play with this design and try other bass alternatives. As you can see, in a few seconds I have designed four different alternatives for the same concept, similar but different at the same time. Now I'm going to make these bodies hollow. To do this, I select these four faces and I select the shield tool. I specify the thickness, 3 mm. Finally, I apply a 1 mm radius to these edges. It's almost ready, but one last detail to finish it is to give the base more thickness. Since the plan is to 3D print the design, this will be a key to obtaining a solid base so that the water does not leak when we fill the bus. For this, I select this face and stir it up, giving the thickness we want. In this case, I use 6 mm. In the upper right corner, we can activate the option to show hidden edges to see that everything is in order. One last optional thing you can add is a lid. This design is a bus, but can be also used as a water can. So why not to make a lid for it? I will show you how to quickly model it, so if you want, you can print it with TPU filament. To start with the lid, I select this edge and I make an offset of 1.25 mm. So I have a tolerance between pieces of 0.25 mm. I screw it down 10 mm and I make another offset. I screw it again. And I already have a primitive shape. Finally, I add some filets to it. 10 mm. 3 mm and last 4 mm and the lid is ready. Remember that you can modify the dimension and model this design in different sizes. Now let's see how it looks with the visualization tool of Shader 3D. I select the material I want to use and I set the color. And now we should, wow, I wish it were that easy. Actually, we have to export the design first and then send it to our 3D printer. At the top left, we have the option to export, 3D printing, 3MF in my case, I put the name and that's it. Okay, cool, design is ready. Now it's your turn. I hope you like it and thanks for watching.